Hey everybody, it is Monday, so that only means one thing, it's Mystery Box Monday. Welcome back to another brand new video. Today we're opening a new mystery pack that I found on eBay called the Imperial Baseball Mystery Pack Series 1. It comes from a seller with 100% positive feedback with almost 400 ratings in there. And it promises 50 plus cards, one of them being an autograph, one being a relic, and one is a numbered card. Also, among those 50 cards, 10 will be rookie cards, and at least one will be a big name rookie from the past couple years. And it says cards will feature current stars, Hall of Famers, and prospects as well. Also, randomly inserted Bowman Sapphire cards and some randomly inserted Project 2020 cards. So some cool stuff, hopefully today. Let's get started. Jason has our first pack. Best of luck to you. There's 10 total packs that I picked up. The price of these uh, on eBay, it's $20 per pack plus $6.50 shipping. So here we go. I'm not sure if I am going to need a, um, well, it looks like I am not going to need a box cut of this one. So, Jason, here we go. Looks like you have two mini packs inside, which is kind of cool. All right, so I see a Nico Horner in your first pack there, which is pretty good. Let me get your name on the screen here. So many packs right now. It'll get a little easier as some space clears up. There's an Ulrich Bacharski, hard name for me to pronounce right off the bat. Hey, there we go. A Ronaldo Hernandez. Very, very nice. Check out the back of that one. Nice blue there. And we have a Dansby Swanson gold. Chris Paddock is your relicate. Nice pitcher there. And your auto is Pat Neshek. He loves to sign autographs. And um, looks like that's out of archives from this year. So first pack is in the books for Jason. Looks like you get two of them. Let's see what we can find in your second one. This must be the base cards, 50 cards. Hopefully there's some good stuff in here in terms of rookies and stars. Alec Baum leading things off. I think he just did his first major league home run the other day. Miguel Amaya, Nick Solak rookie card. Abraham Toro, here's your Hall of Famers. Hey, at least it's a nice old one. Nice 1980 tops. Jack Morris, got some stars in there. Tony Gonsolin rookie card for you. Here's a numbered card. It is going to be a Jonathan Scope from Heritage. Nice looking one right there. Zach Britton, some nice chrome cards in here. Another 1980 Tops Hall of Famer, Fergie Jenkins. And we have a Larry Boa, 1973. Jose Urquidy, Tony Gwynn's a Hall of Famer. And Blake Walston is the last one. Let's check out the other pack here for you, Jason. Some big stuff coming up this week. We've got new releases coming your way. Jesus Lusardo is a nice one. We've got the brand new Tops 5 Star, which is coming out on Wednesday. Also, it's being joined by Panini Immaculate. Both very high-end releases. Over $200 a box on the 5 Star. And there's only two cards in the box. So we'll be breaking that on Wednesday. And then we'll do... Um, Immaculate, probably on Friday. There's an 81 Jim Rice, and Immaculate's like, what, 375 a box or something like that? Very, very high-end stuff for sure, and it should be fun to see what we can find. So that's the first one, Jason. Thank you very much. Pack number two. This one is going to Dan. Let's see what we can find for you. I guess we'll just put your name right there. Very nice rainbowy type um, packaging here from this user hey we have okay it says the hits i don't know if the last one said the hits maybe i maybe i just missed it let's do the base cards first maybe i was just too excited to rip into these and see if there's any crazy stuff hiding out in here i'd like to find one of those project 2020 cards um don't see them too often there's a josh young at least around my channel i never got really too far into them ken griffey jr mauricio dubon rookie card there's a good old Bartolo Colon prospect card. Mookie Betts stargazing. Bryce Turang. Hey, Jim Palmer. Nice, nice 1974 Tops Hall of Fame card right there for you. AJ Puck. We've got a Michael Chavis. Barry Bonds, not a Hall of Famer. 90 Tops, but should be. There's Tony Gwynn, 87. Like that card a lot. Let's check out your other team bag here for you, Dan. Dan P's up right now. He's got a pipeline card with Royce Lewis on there. For a second there, I thought maybe you had a Kyle Lewis, which would have been nice. Dwight Evans, not a Hall of Famer, but still a nice-looking 83 Tops card. 
Sparky Lyle, Fireman Card, Austin Meadows, Blaze Alexander, there's a good one. Bo Bichette, 2020 Bone Rookie Card. Or Hershey's not a Hall of Famer, but uh, was a star back in 1990. Dave Winfield is a Hall of Famer for sure. Seth Brown Rookie Card. And let's see if we can find anything else worth noting in here. Jeffrey Hammond's 91 Tops Traded Rookie Card. All right, let's check out the hits now. You'll have to let me know in the comment section what you think of these uh, mystery packs, what you would give them on a scale of 1 to 10. Remember the price point, uh, about Twenty six fifty, I think you get these for on eBay, which after tax, almost thirty bucks. Justin Dunn rookie card leading things off. Aloy Jimenez, there's a nice one. I love that rookie card. Tom Glavin, eighty eight Donruss rookie is another nice one. J D Davis is your autograph. It's number out of four ninety nine from Bowman. Kyle Seeger gold and Roger Clemens. It is a rookie medallion for you, Dan. I always love those rookie medallion cards. Probably the best thing about Series One top blaster boxes, at least for me. In addition to getting all the good rookie cards like Gavin Lux and uh, Jordan Alvarez is those really cool blaster medallions. All right, pack number three is for Pedro. Let's see what we can find for you, Pedro. You can see inside, there's the hits. So we'll do the base pack first and see what we've got coming out. Hey, Joey Bart. Joey Bart made his major league debut. Lots of guys making their major league debuts. 2021 Series 1 may be loaded. Guys like Joey Bart and Sixto Sanchez. Ryan Mountcastle just made his major league debut. Uh, Christian Pache made his major league debut. So it was a very good week for major league debuts. And I think that uh, they might have missed the cutoff to get them into update. But uh, Series 1 from 2021 may be absolutely loaded with some big name prospects. There's Sixto Sanchez, easily throws 100 miles an hour. I think he hit it six times in his major league debut in his first start. Raleigh Fingers, 79. Chris Sale and Yonder Alonso, Prism Refractor is the last one for Pedro. Let's check out your other cards here and see if there's anything crazy. Charlie Blackman was hitting 500 about a week ago. That's really <laughs> dropped off. It's dropped about 100 points since then. There's Mr. Uh, Jose Altuve, Manny Margot. Some nice chrome cards in here for sure. Uh, let's see what else. There's Albert Pujols, uh, Mike Flanagan, Kyle Ripken Jr., 93 Bowman. That's a nice one. Nice Boog Powell there. Roger Clemens, Matt Williams. Mookie Betts upside down card because, of course, it is a short print. Card number 493, so I guess they wanted us to know that. Some uh, releases put the cards upside down so you know that it is a short print. Let's check out your hits, Pedro, and see what we can find. One autograph, one relic. We got Michael Chavis, rookie card, which is a nice one. Jesus Lusardo, and I approve of a Manny Machado rookie card as well. Like that Austin Riley, triple relic from Elite Extra Edition, and Nicky Lopez is your autograph. So, Pedro, thank you very much. Spot number three is in the books. Let's move on to spot number four. We've got 10 total spots. Spot number four next pack. We'll just move it on over here. It's going to be for Jason. This one feels like a fat pack. And uh, wow, there is a uh, little bonus in there, Jason. Congratulations on finding that. Yeah, you're going to have a, a Project 2020 card coming your way. So Jason, congratulations. Uh, let's <laughs> you won't find Hona's bonus in here. Take a look at that. The hit. You won't find Hona's bonus in here. Like it. Uh, this was hand put together by a collector, obviously. The nose bonus, bonus is awful. So like the uh, like the humor there. All right, here we go. The base pack. Isan Diaz rookie card. Andrew Benatendi refractor. Pretty nice card right there. Uh, Sam Hilliard rookie card. Jacob Amaya first Bowman. Uh, let's see what else. Austin Meadows. Justice Sheffield rookie card. Some of these guys, you never know. They may end up being the next big rookie. It just takes them a couple years to uh, hit their stride. DJ LeMahieu cards, by the way, guys. Might be a nice pickup since he's hitting about 411 right now. Uh, I'm sure that card will probably start to spike if it hasn't already, especially if he becomes a, uh, a serious candidate here during, during the last week or two of the season to hit 400 for the year. There's Abraham Toro rookie card. Aaron Savali, last uh, time I watched him pitch about a week ago, he threw a complete game I only let up one run. Dustin May, rookie card. Love that one. Don Kessinger. Uh, let's see. Trey Turner, Reggie Jackson. Nelly Cruz. Casey Mize. That's another name for 2021 tops, guys. Casey Mize made his MLB debut this week as well. And uh, he is going to be quite a big name, I think, in years to come. Let's check out your hits, Jason. And then you also have that Project 2020 card in there. 
Uh, I'm curious to see who that is. We have a Fred McGriff, 87 Fleer. Kyle Tucker, rookie card. He's going to maybe get some extra plate appearances with Jordan Alvarez being out of the lineup. Mike Moustakis, rookie, is a nice one from 2011 Tops Update. Anything from 2011 Tops Update is usually good. A Jose Canseco, 86. Tops traded rookie card medallion and a... Jorge Guzman is the autograph. So I guess this counts as our relic. It's a manufactured relic. I don't know. Honestly, that's probably better than just a crap relic anyway. I like those, um, like those rookie card medallions. Now, Jason, you have a special bonus here. It's from the Project 2020. It is going to be a... Oh, check this out. It is a Sandy Koufax 1955 Tops rookie card. So what they do with Project 2020 is they reimagine iconic rookie cards uh, like you may have seen the mike trout um 2011 tops update from project 2020 that we showed off the other day in the uh subscription box and sandy koufax 1955 tops that's a cool card for sure 55 tops a great set it's a small set but it definitely is a cool one for sure so jason congratulations on that i'm not exactly sure what that sells for but sometimes uh those 2020 cards can go those project 2020 cards can be a little bit desirable I remember several months ago, Ricky Henderson was uh, going for more than his base rookie card, believe it or not. Anyway, Troy's up right now. Let's see what we can find for you in pack number five. Halfway through, thank you very much for joining us, everybody. Oh, <laughs> look at this. The hits. No sheet C mojo here. So this user either watches the channel or that's become the sheet C has kind of been ingrained in the collector vernacular. Uh, what's the vocabulary um as that is a reference to the 1979 baseball card exchange authenticated sealed box that i picked up about a year ago we opened it up hoping to find hall of famers and ozzy smith rookie cards and instead we found nothing but commons literally i think there might have been one hall of famer in there might have been like phil necro or something like that some some of them's not really even worth anything it was crazy it was awful and it was because all the cards came from sheet c which had all basically common players on there. It was a factory error back in the day. So I like the reference there. Uh, big shout out to this user, Benji Bronk. All right, so let's check out what we've got coming up next. Again, these are $20 on eBay plus $6.50 shipping. All right, so here we go. Starting things off with some Bowman Chrome. Uh, Tim Kate, Randy Arizarena. Sixto Sanchez again, going to be a big name. Marlins surprising everybody this year. They may hang around with the pitching. How about a 71 tops? Carl Yastrzemski batting leaders card. That's a cool one. I like that one. There's a Jake Rogers rookie card. David Fletcher, Sam Hilliard. They pulled about uh, three or four Danny Holtzson rookie cards so far. He was a name that kind of disappeared. Really fought for almost a decade to get back into the big leagues. He was the number one overall pick way back by the Mariners, I think, in like 2011. Yeah, 2011, number one pick there, and finally made it to the big leagues last year with the Cubbies. Let's see what we can find now in Troy's second uh, quote-unquote base pack of rookies, Nick Solak. I thought we could find like a Luis Roberts somewhere in here, Josh Young. There's a Jim Palmer victory leaders card along with Steve Carlton. That's a 1978 Topps card in good shape. Uh, let's see, Dasson Brown, probably said that name wrong, Tristan Casas. Uh, let's see, Joey Bart, like Joey Bart a lot, and John Duplantier, Clark Schmidt again. So let's check out these hits. No sheet C mojo here. Maybe there'll be an Aussie Smith, 79 toss rookie card, hiding out in here. Hey, Omar Vizquel's a nice hit for sure. Hey, Walker Bueller is a nice hit. I love Walker Bueller. And that's his rookie card from 2018 tops. There he is, Luis Robert. I was waiting to see if we are going to find this card. Saw this one at the flea market this past weekend. Heather and I actually went away this weekend down to Tennessee, stopped at the um, largest flea market in Tennessee and uh, saw this card down there and they wanted 10 bucks for it. There's a Jim Palmer 1968 tops, Aramis, Aramis Ademan, Ademan uh, Trevor Bauer manufacturer patch, not a fan of that at all, but I am a fan of this. It is an Omar Vizquel, which makes up for the patch. Uh, very nice future hall of famer and it's out of 15 what a nice low number there so troy if i were to be pretty happy with the robert the bueller and this uh this i feel like in those three cards there along with the jim palmer you pretty much almost got your money back for uh if not maybe even a little more 
Very, very nice, nice pack for you. And now next up, Pete has two packs. He's got six and seven. So we'll just, um, I don't know, I guess we'll start with the sixth one. Put your name on the seventh one off to the left. Let's see what we can find for Pete. He's got a base pack, of course, and a hits pack. So far for me, pack number five was the best. You'll have to let me know which pack you thought was the best. Maybe it was the one with the 2020 Sandy Coat pack. I guess that one's pretty darn good. I don't know exactly how much that goes for. So I can't really give it a, I don't know, a good... Um, rating. There's a Gavin Lux rookie card and Dustin May rookie card. Wander Franco, you'll be seeing him next year. Jesus Lusardo, Eric Davis. AJ Puck rookie card, Aaron Savali rookie. Andre Dawson's a Hall of Famer. That's his 84 tops card. Rondell White in like a pink shirt. This is like 92 Bowman cards of those prospects are pretty funny. They just like, look, Butch Husky, where's he at? Like, look at that background. <laughs> All those prospect cards just crack me up. Uh, Alex Kirillov is the last one right there. Let's check out the, the rest of the pack for Pete. And then we'll get into your hits. And then we'll do your seventh pack as well. There's the Ryan Express. Bo Bichette rookie card is a nice one from Bowman. Shane Bieber is all the rage. Has like a 111 run average and is like 5-0 and right now. So if you didn't already pick up his rookie card, you might want to do that. Because that is uh, just um, skyrocketing in price. Josh Young, Eddie Murray, 90 tops. I like how the Hall of Famers aren't a bunch of junk wax cards like... Bunch of 90 Don Russ, 90 Fleer, kind of like are mixed up a little bit. There's some nice variations there, you, like you saw, like a 71 Yastrzemski, a 1980 cards in here, 68 Palmer. I like that. All right, Pete, let's see what we can find for you now. I see a Blake Snell in the back. Eric Davis, 80, or sorry, where I saw Eric Davis, 87. That's a Barry Larkin, 87. That's his rookie card. Jordan Alvarez, rookie card as well. He meant his rookie, so that's a nice trio of rookies for you jock peterson gold reggie jackson manufactured relic and a blake snell former Cy young award winner out of 50 for pete in his first pack so you got one more pete let's see what we can find for you pack number seven then we'll get eight and nine and uh, kind of move those out of the way a little bit let's see what we can do for you also 10 is off screen because it just didn't look right couldn't get like 10 in the thumbnail it just looked kind of weird so i just decided to Keep it all kind of, uh, you know, equal there. Three by three picture looks better than just trying to add another one in there. Let's check out your base cards first, Pete, and see what we can find. Tomorrow I'm not exactly sure what we're going to bring to you. It's either going to be that Tennessee flea market video, or it could possibly be a baseball card shop video, one of those two. Um, tried Target again today, didn't find anything. Not done a Target video yet this month. And uh, maybe we might have to take a rain check on that. I've got basically one more week to get it done. And I can't find cards anywhere at Target, unfortunately. Is that Luis Robert on the back? How about that? In the base pack, Luis Robert hanging out at the back. Very, very nice. All right, we'll take that one. Zach Gallon rookie card, Daryl Strawberry, 87. Robbie Cano, Robin Yount, 87. Ryan Sandberg, 87. Lots of 87 tops cards in this pack. There's another one, Tony Gwynn. Gary Sanchez, lowest batting average in MLB among qualified um, batters, hitting like 133. There's Savali. Uh, kind of almost looks like a short print to me, but I'll have to check that out against a regular issue one. There's Hunter Harvey. Uh, it's probably not a short print. Maybe I'm just losing my mind. I can't even read the... Uh, usually you can see these. I can't even read these anymore. That one ends in 69, that one ends in 99. So maybe that's probably actually is a short print, which is pretty cool. Let's check out the Logan Webb. Um, but they might be from different series, so I can't tell. I'll have to do a little research. It's been a little while since I've opened Series 1, as you can tell. There we go. Luis Robert, not a rookie card. It is his Chrome Prospect, but still a nice card right there. I'm sure that one's worth at least oh, around 5 bucks or so. Nice one. Let's check out your hits and see what we can find for you. Uh, the Human Strikeout Machine, James Karinczak, strikes everybody out. This guy's going to be the next big name. If you haven't heard about him already, just look at his stat line throughout the minors. I mean, just look at it right here. 74 strikeouts in 30 innings. So he recorded 90 outs, and he 91 outs, and he struck out 74 of those outs. How crazy is that, Keston here? Luis Robert, rookie card. Very nice. Logan Davidson, Kyle Seeger. Is your relic and Derek Rodriguez, the son of Yvonne Rodriguez, who's a Hall of Famer, is your last one. So, Pete, thank you very much.
for your participation. If you'd like to participate in a Mystery Box Monday, spots are usually limited for these, but um, if you don't get on these, you, there's plenty of spots for our breaks. Check them out on my Patreon page. $3 a month is the uh, lowest tier there. It gives you access to all the breaks. First come, first serve basis. Oh boy, now we know that... <laughs> Now we know that he is a Jabs family subscriber. The hits, more hits than Linda W. That is a reference to legendary Linda. He used to bind all of our team breaks about a year ago. And uh, every time she would buy into a break, she would always come out of the break with like the most hits. Um, I feel like she was very good at researching the teams that had the highest percentage of autographs in the set. And uh, she definitely had some great, great luck. There's Nico Horner. We've got a Lucas Gordon upside down numbered card out of 249, it looks like. Reese Hoskins, Logan Allen. Stephen Piscotti making a dive and catch there. Nick Lodolo, another Bo Bichette rookie card. Omar Vizquel will be in the Hall of Fame. Someday, Wander Franco. <coughs> and I'm um, starting to cough. I don't like to stop the video to do a cough check just because... Just, I like to keep it going, at least in a pack. It's always my worst fear. Because I'm going to have to stop and... <coughs> Sorry about that. Got like a tickle in my throat. Carmen Killebrew, 72 tops. That's a nice one. Keeper Ruiz, another prospect, came up and hit his first Major League home run. Cedric Mullins, of course. Anthony Rendon, Austin Meadows. Nolan Arnato, there's an Austin Voth rookie card. Adrian Moray Hone, Kanan Smith, and last one is a Kyle Harrison. Let's check out these hits. More hits than Linda W. All right, so leading things off, I see a, maybe a Bowman High Tech there. Walker Bueller, rookie card is a nice one. Dylan Cease, Barry Larkin, rookie card. Josh Bell, gold. George Brett, and Jeter Downs is the last hit for Steven. Steven, thank you very much. We've got two packs left. It's going to be Jacob. Taking pack number nine, and then off camera, I've got pack number 10 for Casey. Let's see what we can find for you two. Oh, we've got another one of these bad boys, Project 2020, coming up. So we had Sandy Koufax already. I've only seen two of them. I've seen the Sandy Koufax and the Mike Trout. They're the only two that I've ever seen. I think maybe actually I'm lying. I think I also saw the 89 Griffey. All right, so here we go, Jacob. Let's see what we can do for you in your mystery pack. Freddie Freeman, uh, Logan Allen, Burt Blylevin, 73. That's his third year card, his rookie 71. Yu Chang, rookie card. There's Sixto Sanchez. You're very impressed with him after his first start. Dennis Eckersley is a Hall of Famer, 1980 top, still in cease. Yamamoto. Pedro Martinez and Hans Krause. Let's check out your other pack here, Jacob. And see what we can find. By the way, that break on Wednesday night of five stars is going to be fun. Only two cards per box. And uh, they're over $200 a box. I think they're $230, $235, something like that, after tax and shipping on Steel City Collectibles for two cards. So I'm hoping we can pull some really big hits out of there make sure you join us for that and then immaculate will probably do that i think it's friday a nice friday night break it's uh it's like five star for panini lots of big hits every card is a hit i think there's four autos and two relics per box six cards per box all right jacob here's your hits another walker bueller um I'm just sitting here questioning, why are they getting rid of all their Walker Buehler rookie cards? He's a really good pitcher. Uh, Bryce Harper, that's a pretty cool game-used memorabilia right there. A game-used bat from Harper. Uh, I guess you, I would say that's the best relic that we've received out of these 10 so far. And CNL Perez is the autograph for you, Jacob. But you have a extra little bonus. It's the Project 2020. It's another Sandy Koufax. So two Sandy Koufax, 1955 tops. Project 2020s, very, very cool looking card. One of these days we'll have to do a 55 top set break. We haven't done one in a while. We only did one of them actually. It was the 1960 top set break. We're about due for another one. I'll have to track down another set and uh, we'll put them all in the packs and open them up and see what you can find. All right, so Casey, this is the last one. This is spot number 10. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Hopefully, you enjoyed the video. Let's see those hits for last. What am I doing? Let's do the base cards first. 
We have a Ronnie Mauricio leading things off in pack number 10. Jordan Alvarez rookie card. Bo Bichette. Two of the nicest rookie cards you can find in 2020 Bowman. There's Raleigh Fingers, AJ Puck. A little concerned with his shoulder issues that he's had. We'll see if he can ever come back. Hey, our first Kyle Lewis rookie card of the day. Very good one right there. And he has uh, just been absolutely killing it this year. With that last time I checked, a couple days ago, there's another one. Two Kyle Lewis. He was in like 371 a couple days ago. There's Robin Yount, 79 tops. That's a great looking card right there. Always weird seeing Robin without his mustache. Must have lost a bet or something there that he had to shave it. Because uh, I think that might be... One of the few times that we've actually seen him on a card without his mustache. Let's check out the other pack for Casey. Gavin Lux rookie cards. you got a lot of nice rookies. Dusty Baker, now the manager, of course, of the Houston Astros. Willie Stargell, Hall of Famer, 81 tops. You say Kikuchi, Roy Halladay is a Hall of Famer. Bruce Suter, nice looking one right there. Suter all clean, shaven without the beard. Nice looking 79 tops card for you. Casey and Luis Robert. Bowman Chrome Prospects is a nice one as well. Let's check out your hits before we close up shop for this Monday evening. All right, Casey, we've got Nico Horner rookie card. We have a Sean Murphy rookie card. We've got Luis Robert rookie card, which is a nice one. Uh, pulled like three, two or three of that one so far. $10 card. Javi Baez. And our last two hits, a Justin Verlander game used relic. And Nick Green are the last two hits for you, Casey. And that will do it for this episode of Mystery Box Monday. Again, these are called the Imperial Baseball Mystery Packs. I bought these off eBay. I see that they are they have newly listed a new listing. Uh, looks like they are $20 a piece on there. And in terms of inventory, just looking them up, it looks like they have... Uh, exactly 20 of these still available on there. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Mystery Box Monday. Please hit that subscribe button, and if you haven't already, and please also hit the like button. I would very much appreciate it. Let me know what you think of this product. It's $20 plus $6.50. Overall, I'd probably get a solid... I'll tell you what, I've got a, a, a couple of these mystery packs. I've got like a 6 or a 6.5, and then afterwards, I'm like, that wasn't a 6. That was probably a little lower than that, actually. I kind of like this one. For $20... I'd give it a, I think I'm going to give it a seven and a half or a solid eight, actually. Let me know what you think in the comments uh, down below. What would you give us? And um, I'm going to close up shop for the day and check us out tomorrow for, we'll have something for you, baseball card video or flea market video. It, it looks like new releases coming on Wednesday. We'll have a new release preview video of the brand new 2020 Tops 5 Star and also 2020 Panini Immaculate. Very high-end sets, super expensive uh, <laughs> per card. Uh, for sure but it'll be fun so check us out live stream for that on wednesday thank you very much for watching everybody and i'll see you all tomorrow